<sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Today we'll be talking about Justin Roiland and some rather spicy allegations. I'm Rugburn. And I'm Pickled Landed. And this is Tombstone Tourist. Today we're going to be kind of just going over some interesting allegations. Everyone kind of knows about the domestic abuse thing and the, the charges that have come, but there's not really too much public to that, right? So... We're, we we found some interesting stuff, right? You you found a few Twitter videos and some other like links and things. We found enough stuff to to totally just ignore the the domestic battery till we can find out more information. Yeah, this dude is pretty Sick. pretty fucked up. <laughs> I think we should start with a video to kind of give some context, and we'll kind of talk about it before we show the video. Mr. Royland's been accused of grooming, grooming, talking to a sixteen-year-old girl in ways that uh, are inappropriate. Definitely. I mean, it, to begin with, l- let's just get get everything straight. If you are above the age of eighteen, you do not need to be talking to a minor. Just to begin with, just just off the rip, it, it just is something that does not need to be taking place. Yeah, and the way he's doing it is he starts by kind of following them and then sending them a message. Well, not necessarily, but he does respond. And then the way he responds is disgusting. Like you said, you shouldn't be doing it. Honestly, I would argue 18. You shouldn't be talking to him. He's about 35. When yeah, you, you should be beyond that for sure. You know, when they say grooming, kind of like they mean like setting them up for when they're old enough, you know. And um, But actually, I think we should read the messages that were that he's been accused of sending. So we got this one right here. This one says, once you turn 18, you just start cam whoring. Why are you such jailbait? What's wrong with you in that regard? You should grow older, you dumb bitch. Is it cool being jailbait? Does the FBI following you around, arresting all the men you sleep with? And you know what also is odd about that? Like, he's someone with clout and he's double texting even these underage girls which in my opinion is already a huge red flag you're already messaging them and then you're double pe- like messaging well, he's 35 texting these girls and he sounds like somebody like in 8th grade like it sounds like Morty from Rick and Morty texting wow. these these women you know I want to meet you in real life jail bait so I can help you not be a homo I'm Atlanta drunk I'm guessing a lot of people's first question is like how can you like verify this you know, like, how do we know this is true? Well, let's pull up that podcast audio. Do Justin's advice for me to get a girl kind of worked out, but you should put a warning advice. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. You should put a warning. Only lasts 48 hours. Oh. Because the girl I said had a nice ass. Do you remember when you gave oh, yeah, advice? Oh, yeah. I said, tell her yeah. she's got a nice <laughs> oh, ass. Be, be a man. This is yeah. the one that everybody thinks was gay, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. At a school. I guess be so. this... confident. Mm-hmm. Act like you act like you know you're fucking awesome. And, yeah. these, and if you're like in fourth grade, these girls, they're going to be blindsided. Fourth grade. If I could go back and be a fourth grade kid right now with what I know, oh my God, I'd be like walking around. I'd be getting laid every fucking day. <laughs> Gross. That's sick as fuck already. Like just off the rip, like that comment in and itself is questionable to yeah, say the least. It sounds like Morty saying he's he would be getting laid in the fourth grade with the knowledge he has. Yeah, <sighs> it's, it's just bad. It's it's a bad. It gets, look. It gets worse too. It gets worse. And it would be grade. and it would be legal too because I would be a little kid. And he's been practicing on a fourth grader now, so he knows how to yeah. do it. Uh huh. No, she's twenty two. Um, she oh does have God. braces though. Just. Pointing out, he's probably in his mid thirties, dating a twenty-two year old, so he's he's keeping him pretty low. And I don't know if that's the woman that filed the domestic battery thing or not, but we can only guess she's probably sub thirty. I mean, but at that point, there's nothing wrong. But the things he's saying are rather yeah. Audacious. No, there's nothing wrong. He's I would say he's walking a line. Well, what he's saying is more than like walking a line. But like the, him dating a twenty-two year old, there's nothing wrong in that. That's what I mean. It's still walking a line, though. You know, you can tell that he prefers younger women. I love the braces. It's hot. <laughs> okay. Uh, it says anyways, she said. I said, had a nice ass. I'm not a really... pedophile, though. All right, mm. Jesus Christ. Mm. I didn't really. Want... I'm not attracted to fucking little kid bodies. I like fucking <laughs> women bodies. Look, I'll say, look, a fucking 14 year old that looks like she's 18 and like big titties mm-hmm. and a nice. Yeah. Like, of course, mm, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm attracted to that. Ooh, yeah. That's why this whole Chris Hansen thing. I'm like. Fuck you, man. They, mm-hmm. These girls are like, they look, they're fully developed and they're like, they talking online. I want, I want you to fuck. Yeah, I feel like it's like the whole, like, I'm not racist, but it's like, if you say I'm not a, pedo- a pedophile, but it's like, I don't think you can you? end or start a sentence with fuck Chris Hansen and get away with whatever you're going to say. Yeah. Chris, Chris Hansen's that. that guy. Honestly, yeah. I mess with Chris Hansen heavily. Yeah, like, can, it should never cross your mind to just disrespect Chris Hansen. Chris in the middle Hansen of a went hard. Honestly, he, he probably saved a lot of underage people like boys and girls. So like, I, 
I'm all for Chris Hansen. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going because it does actually get a little bit worse. I mean, if the, the girls that old men or women pretend to be to lure the pedophiles into the house? Yeah, but they would email photos uh-huh. of what they look like. Uh-huh. And the ones I saw were like, that girl's fully fucking Va-va-voom. developed woman. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, come on, back in like, <laughs> how are we that fuck? like, we're, as a race, are we that crazy? Like, when we were fucking, to, 100 years ago, uh-huh. it was little 13-year-old girls, if they were built like a woman, they were getting married and having kids. Uh-huh. And now we're going to be all precious about it? I keep using the word precious today. That's the word of the week. Which is a movie about a child molester. Precious. <laughs> right? Edward Down syndrome baby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, anyways, uh, I'm not a pedophile though. I do follow I'm a the law. Uh-huh. I wait till they're 18 if, if 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 I'm ever so lucky as to have the. I feel like if you have to preference multiple times that you're not something before saying something, you you should probably just shut shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's definitely the. Uh, I'm not racist, but I'm about to say some audacious shit argument. He said that what like four times. Yeah, he's like, I'm not a pedophile, but I'm saying, and it's just like and proceeded to say like straight to jail. Yeah. Straight to jail. So glad there was finally an episode last week, but I know you guys are busy. And Ryan, I'm sorry about your breakup, but if you're willing to wait two years, I'll be your new girlfriend. Love you guys. Oh, she's Ooh. six, sweet is 16. She... How old is she? Holy shit. How old is she? Be... A little context. They're reading tweets or mm-hmm. responses. That's not Justin Roiland that got dumped. It's the other dude, Ryan. Well, unless uh, she's walking to I, LA no, by I, foot and it's going to take two years. Can I, can I just say that, you know, send some pictures. Because you could be, like, fat and gross. Stop She's it. got two years to shape up for me, Justin. Okay, well, fine, but send some fucking... There's no- Wanting pictures from an underage girl, this is just building... This is a, such a bad look for someone with as much clout as Justin Roiland. Like, this is overall very cringy, and I hate to say it, it's going to make me look at Rick and Morty slightly different as much as I would like to separate the art from the person. He's, it's just... It's really bad. Yeah. And it's damning too because he's he's willingly saying this and you got to imagine he's giving the okay for this to come out, right? I'm having trouble giving him any kind of out. I don't know if you remember that episode of Rick and Morty where they go into the teacher's brain and the teacher's been thinking about summer and like really Oh yeah. It sometimes makes you wonder if his writing is like his subconscious is bleeding into his writing. It could be that you know what I'm talking he's, about, though? I mean, at bare minimum, he's a very sick man. Like, this is very telling. It's like, I don't know. Usually where there's smoke, there's fire is all I'm going to say. So let's go ahead and finish this clip. See how much worse it gets. Nothing illegal Listen, about a 16 year old sending perfectly normal uh, clothed no, uh, images no, to Ryan. There's, yeah, no, there's definitely something legal about me receiving Illegal? Them. Now, that, now that the context is Illegal? <laughs> I question that. I'm not interested if you are... I'm not interested in your, if you're 18, frankly. <laughs> so hey, this, that's the same person. I'm not interested if you're 18 even. At least he's straight up right there. Like, he's trying to check him, I feel like. And Justin is not picking up on it at all, I feel like. I feel like he's like, no, bro, for real. Like, come on. And I feel like the other friend's like. <laughs> yeah, he's, there, there's nothing illegal about a 16-year-old girl sending you perfectly normal clothes. And it's like, what? It's like, if you and that 16-year-old girl are not related, you have zero reason to be interacting even with her in the then. first place. Well, no, I'm saying like even to be talking to her, like if it's like your cousin or something, you see them at a function, like whatever, like it's different because that's just some family shit. Like that's like your cousin or whatever. And it's not in a sexual context. But I'm saying like if you guys have no reason to be like talking like that, you're not related. There's no like anything like why are you why are you all interacting? And I would argue that he initiates it by following them. Yeah, because anytime a clouded person follows you, your initial reaction is like, oh, so-and-so follows me. Because typically, it's probably someone that you're like a fan of or at least look up to in some way or something along those lines. So, like, I know anytime I've gotten like a clouded follower, it's like, oh, what? Like, you know, you're, you're excited about it because you're like, this yeah. person's actually like a fan or at least they know of me type thing. Like, and if you're it's young. just a real feeling. Yeah, and if you're young, you're easily manipulatable. Like, it just kind of comes into the whole, like, making it easier to groom thing. And that, uh, yeah, it's just... Uh, this is a very bad picture. And I'm even like, even when you said it, it's going to be hard to watch Rick and Morty, I bet you there's more than just that one episode. I bet you it's, it's all the way. Oh, I'm sure we could find stuff where it's just like very questionable jokes. Now knowing this kind of stuff, I got to ask you, do you think there's going to be charges to come from this or more exposings uh, from the domestic battery? I believe something will happen. Well, no, I'm talking about the grooming stuff. I don't know. He has money. I think that money definitely money plays a huge factor. Look at R. Kelly. 
R. Kelly was caught doing stuff, though, physically. Yeah, but he's getting exposed slowly. So what I'm saying is, do you think that there's a possibility for charges to start forecoming from so this? You know how you said, like, do you think, like, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire? Mm -hmm. So if there is fire, then yeah, he's going to do time. But that's when they find fire. They haven't found fire yet, but I think they will. So you think the feds are watching him? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's kind of funny because he made the Rick and Morty forum like on Reddit and is like the top moderator. And you can like go through and see where he was actively deleting, trying to like censor the information. Clear his name. But it, it reached a point of um, too many people were sharing on Twitter. and He there. couldn't keep up with he it, not enough free it. time. Yeah, exactly. You can tell that nobody working on Rick and Morty is releasing tweets or posts or posting on Reddit or anything like because that. Because you want to separate yourself from that. That or like the entire production is shut down on, on like shut the fuck up mode until we figure out so what's going down. If he doesn't get charges, do you at least think Rick, do you think Rick and Morty might have another season still or you think that's canned? Okay, so I'm going to bring up that Chris Delia dude. I don't know if you know who he is. No. But he just like, he was a comedian that got caught texting underage girls through Snapchat. They actually have like footage of him getting caught. Okay. When, they find, when he finds out, you can just screen record Snapchat. Oh, okay. He got caught. He was uh, he was on a bunch of stand-ups on Comedy Central. He had a skit on Workaholics where he was like Bieber Hole 69. He was like a chomo in the show even. Oh, okay. So that's there was like levels and levels of irony to this. And he got caught. And I think he, I don't know how far it went into prosecution or what happened to him, but he restarted his career and is making money again somehow. Mm, which yeah. I find weird. Like I won't watch him again, but th he has found an audience. And so as far as evidence of, do I think Rick and Morty is destroyed? I don't think it'll ever be the powerhouse at ever that it was at its pinnacle. Now I think this is going to taint it forever, but mm. I don't think it's completely dead. I think it's safe to say that Rick and Morty has a bit of a like toxic fan base or they can toxic, be, most definitely, you know, so you never know how a fan base responds to information about like, this person that they to be honest they definitely have a toxic fan base because i didn't watch rick and morty for like the first two seasons just based off the fans and how the fans would act i want sexual sauce where's my sexual sauce i'm dental rick what was all the dog dog i'm dental rick i was like i don't even know if i want to even give it a try because y'all act like some idiots well they act like you have to have like some iq level you know they to watch it's, a futurama a, level like cartoon yeah, yeah it's, it's, like, it's ridiculous it's like, come on man like everybody you know 30 and under had adult swim we know what's going on i i however I, that's me saying that now in two years i could be a real creep ball no listen here's the thing girl send Ryan, no, some personal do not images. Be, no. Stop it. Just make sure that they're legal. First Don't of all, be you, nude you're not interested. You're not going to be interested in me. No, she'll love you and she'll cook for you and clean and ha and bear your <laughs> goddamned children. You son of a bitch. Yeah, this man's wild. That they was were, <laughs> incredibly out of pocket. They were trying to PR check him so hard that entire clip. They were like, no, 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 please don't do that. Please don't do that. No, 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 no. Stop asking. And you could tell, like, when you feel strongly about something, you're not going to let someone just stop you from going on about what you're trying to say. So you could tell he felt very strongly about that topic, which is, to me, disgusting. Like, honestly, if I saw him, I, I wouldn't mind putting hands on him for sure. That would be kind of... It's definitely fantasy. I don't think we're ever going to get to do that. Um <laughs> And even in jail, I'm sure he'll be able to like get himself a, a safety spot. So like, that's the thing He'll that probably like, be in PC realistically because once you have enough clout or infamy, whatever you want to call it, you almost can't be in general pop. Which I hate like I. This is one of those ones where it's like you feel like justice isn't going to happen, and like I really hope it does. We'll see. It's all about the waiting game on that. Um, did you have any more videos or proof mm -hmm. of kind of some grooming going yeah. on? There's a video from Twitter. This is from the girl that these text messages are from the jailbait ones. Um, this okay. is where she proves that she was 16 at the time. And then she goes and we see kind of like, uh, kind of like how you're talking, how he initiates stuff. She proves that it's his account. Well, let's go ahead and watch that. Let's, let's see what, uh, so I am the original poster of this tweet. Um, it's about how back in September, 2015, when I was 16 years old, Justin Rowland had followed me on Twitter and I messaged him first because I was excited. The man who made my favorite show followed me. So made me feel a little bit special. So I just want to point out that just shows that like, it's so easy for him to groom these young women because she's talking about how that's her favorite show. And that is super manipulative and disgusting because he's just kind of like preying on these people that look up to him and idolize him and put him up on a pedestal prior to like actually have ever having interacted with him. And it's just, it kind of shows how, how predatory of a mindset he has. 
but um, people don't think it's real and I'm here to prove it. So here are the DMs, do a little scroll. I told him I was 16. He said he's looking for my pictures and knows why he added me. Says I was super cute and let's just go up here. New tab. And it is him. The full screenshots were of like a whole print screen at the time. And yeah, that's why the format looks a bit weird, but. Yep. And then once you turn 18, you should just start cam whoring. And here's me just completely ignoring that. <laughs> it's insane in the membrane. <laughs> no. And so some of these are the ones, these aren't her. She's reposting tweets, like how mm. I was talking about, where they're, they're, they're posted underneath her feed. So at least she had enough wit on her at that age to kind of pump the brakes on him. So, I mean, that's good. Nothing seemed to have come from that, besides him being a total creep ball. But not not everyone's going to have that strong of a mental as, as she had, you know, uh, as she claimed to have had a... Uh, she was a fan and, you know, typically people as young as she was at that time are going to be easier to be influenced by someone like that. Right. So, you know, like I said, good thing she didn't jump on it. But like, God forbid, he's done this to someone a little more naive. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. And she also had the wherewithal to screenshot everything and, and kind of screen record stuff. You know, like because she was probably getting a horrible feeling in her stomach. Like she probably, as soon as he said that, I don't know why he keeps saying that jail based stuff, but it's like as soon as she saw that, she probably got this immediate like Ugh, the, the the ick. You know, like yeah, you know, it's the probably the feeling we have in our stomachs reading it. But she's a young girl. Oh, it's probably much worse. We probably can't understand what yeah, it's on like she's going through. It's definitely on some next level thing. Like I couldn't imagine being violated like that by someone I looked up to. So, you know, I mean. I don't know. Did you have anything in closing you kind of wanted to say? I guess never meet your heroes, man. That's not bad advice. Let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think he's been grooming? Do you think charges should follow? Do you think Rick and Morty should be canceled? Like, comment, subscribe. I'm Rugburn. And I'm Pickled Landed. And this is Tombstone Tourist. Tourist.